what it do baby what's up you guys what's really really good welcome back to the channel today is saturday morning kind of morning not that morning anymore but <clears throat> today it's my turn to clean Woo! and as you guys know if you guys follow me and my family closely you know that i live with my sister duh and every week we take turns cleaning basically so like the kitchen and the living room kind of like the common areas and if you don't clean you have to pay the other one fifty dollars now it's worked really good for us because we don't want to pay the other fifty dollars and because we both like a little clean living space now before i show you guys how dirty everything is i do have to tell you i personally like to have like more to do because i feel more accomplished after i don't know if that's reverse psychology or what but we've also been very busy this week and i don't know why but no one cleaned their dishes this week but whatever i'm fine with cleaning them um so there is a little bit more extra plates to clean but anyway the point is we are in for the cleaning vlog Woo! Uh, I know you guys like the cleaning vlogs because you say that it motivates you to clean. So whenever you're watching this, you should definitely clean. You should clean your restroom, your room, your closet, your kitchen, whatever it is you have. Even if it's something small like the cabinet in your restroom where you have the cochinero. I always find myself that I feel the best after I clean because, I don't know, it makes me appreciate the things I have and it makes me... Just like, it feels good to take care of your stuff, you know? I'm gonna show you, well first of all, I am gonna show you guys these books that I got because yesterday you guys, I don't know how many of you know this, but I actually used to work at a bookstore. That was my first job. Um, it used to be called Borders. I don't know if any of you remember, comment down below, but Borders ended up closing down. That's how I lost my first job. Anyway, but yesterday I went with my sister to get her tattoo and because i was just kind of sitting there i was like i need a new book to read i haven't gotten in the habit of reading books in a long time when i was younger like in high school i used to read all the time and i don't know like ever since like social media took off and like i love social media obviously i kind of stopped reading and i will start books and then they were not able to keep my attention so i kind of work on i want to work on myself to dedicate a little bit of my time in the day to read and to learn and to like basically self-evolve i got three different books um and i know that might kind of be a little too much and overwhelming because i haven't even finished one book in a long time but i have faith in myself and i know i could do it so the one i'm actually currently reading right now and it's the first one it's this one it's not your money by tasha silver and basically was this, what this book book talks about so far i think i'm like a chapter in if you guys could see a little dent right there what this book talks about is basically about we live in a society that teaches us like more 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 no matter how much you have and i am so guilty of that you guys i have someone who is so competitive and so full of like drive for success i find myself like i live really well like gracias a Dios no me hace falta nada i have my own place i have my own car i have things that i'm really happy about but because of what i do for work i guess like there's no limit as to how much money you can make working as a influencer you know so i often find myself not appreciating what i have because i want more of what i don't have yet so i just like I realized that that's kind of really toxic for my health and for my mental health especially so this book really caught my eye because basically what it tells you is instead of focusing on what you want if you focus on what you have and you realize that you really have no control over how much you'll make like obviously you do but like at the end of the day like if you trust god which i do or the universe or whatever you believe in you know that there's a higher power taking care of you and it's not going to give you what you want it's going to give you what you need you know so it's been kind of putting my mind at peace a lot um so if you have similar mentality where you always want more 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 no matter what i definitely recommend this book it's a pretty easy read fascinated with this so far so this is the first one and then I got this book called The Power of You by Chris Michaels. How to live your authentic, exciting, joy-filled life now. And the back of this book 
basically the reason why it caught my attention is because it says that you are you and no one else has that power now again because I am very competitive. I often find myself comparing myself to my peers or to people who I feel like I can be like or I can surpass in a level or I can like strive to be. And basically when you're really hungry and when you're really, I don't know, when you're really competitive, it can be exhausting. So basically I think this book is gonna talk, I haven't started it, but I think this book is gonna talk a little bit about like why you are you and no one else is like you and what's meant for you will come to you and no one else. So I'll let you guys know. Let me know if you're interested. This is what it looks like if you wanna read it. And last but not least, I was actually inspired by Nikki, Nikki Limo, shout out to you, bitch, because this last time I saw her at JK News when we went to go film, she was saying it was her pink day, and basically she went into this, like, um, like she told us how she was reading this book that I think was called Colors and Numbers, that basically tells you about what color you should be wearing to be reminded of different things. So for example, like that day I think she was wearing pink and pink meant like letting go of something. So basically every time you see that pink thing on your body, you remember like, oh, today I'm working on letting go. And so I got this book because I assume it's gonna be the same, I hope. I mean, the back kind of talks about that. So it says, Your Life in Color, Empowering Your Soul with Energy of Color by Douglas Fraser and I don't know I I like having I like the idea of having like a little small goal every day like and thinking like today I'm gonna let go of anger today I'm gonna be forgiving today whatever the lesson for that day is because sometimes you guys I feel like it can feel like a lot so maybe focusing on a certain thing that day will help you kind of relieve the stress and the other things you're focusing on in your life you know what I mean so those are the three books I'm gonna be reading. Let me know if any of you get them and we can talk about them in the comment section. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. Um, they were, the soft cover ones were $17, the hard cover one was $20. I don't know man, when it comes to books, I just, I don't mind spending money. So anyway, let me show you guys the smash. This is what the comedor looks like right now. You guys, this box, if you have heard that story time, you know what that box is anyway um so this is our hanger our drop off and pickup zone i'm gonna be putting stuff away in our rooms um just to kind of just keep like the necessity there because look even i still have the bag that i took to rosarito that's no bueno so that's amy d right there resting uh so we have that box that's gonna stay there um this is mine as well my sweater i was wearing yesterday my purse i think this is danny's he might have gone shopping this weekend. This is a lot of my stuff, damn. So this is my makeup bag, my books, like I said, my coloring book. I like to keep this here because I do like to color in the table, on the table, I don't know why. My red pen, that's what I take notes with. My water jug, cup, we're gonna put it over here. Oops, that was a little too harsh. Our lighter, we should turn on the candle so we can set the ambiance. And I'm turning on Margarita Island by Bath & Body. It smells so good, you guys. It's one of my favorite candles. It smells like tropical and summery, you know? So anyway, the lighter goes here. My sister made sopitas con frijoles this morning. So that's that. Um, so yeah, so let me show you guys the kitchen. So I already took out the trash because I already walked in it, so I did it then. So this is what our sink looks like right now. We have plates all over and food. Um, so we're gonna take care of that. <clears throat> I'm gonna empty out, oh, it's pretty empty because <laughs> all of our dishes are over here. Um, we have some flowers from my mom. Can I say who they're from? No. So we have some flowers for my mom because she went to the hospital, which is really nice. So. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna wash dishes. I'm gonna put a bag on the trash, the trash can. And then, yeah, come hang out, bitch. If you're gonna clean too, get your stuff ready to clean. Ooh. So really quick, as you can tell, um, there's food in the sink. So obviously the water's not going down. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna clean this out 
in the trash can. And then I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna kind of try and clean all the food out of the sink so that I don't have that problem anymore. You guys, I know the music. I might be dancing a little bit off beat because I put you guys non-copyrighted music, but I actually have music for myself over here because I like to listen to music when I'm cleaning. You know what I mean? So, I cleared out the sink, kind of. I'm still gonna clean it after, but okay. So, all I'm doing, as you guys can tell, is I'm washing the dishes, putting them here in the dishwasher because we still give it a wash after to kind of like hot wash them but yeah there's no more food so the water should what i'm gonna do is because i have to move on to the rest of the kitchen um i'm actually gonna eat breakfast and i still have to wash these dishes so i didn't even realize that so i'm gonna eat breakfast so that i can get rid of these sopitas and also i have my breakfast so i'm gonna do that real quick and then after we're gonna continue, so I'm gonna take myself a little break because um, cleaning is tiring. I'll be back. Okay, I had breakfast. I clear out the stuff from the stove, but what I am gonna do first is, okay, so let me show you guys the dishwasher. This is what the dishwasher ended up looking like, so it is pretty loaded. We're still gonna turn it on right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I am gonna clean the table first you guys I cleared it out out of everything that I had on so that I can put these flowers that are not ours Well, these are ours, but those are my mom's. She's gonna come pick them up right now So I'm gonna set you guys up right here. So lately what I've been using on our table is the Myers clean day Shout out to Evelyn. She gave it to us when we first moved into our apartment and it smells so good you guys um, and I think it's like super organic and like vegan and like i don't know it just smells really good so if you guys want to try it out up here is like the back label so you guys can see so okay Puta madre, los tiré. do next is I'm gonna clean the countertops you guys so like this the stove I'm gonna clean it um, I mean the good thing about these countertops is like you can't really tell they're dirty but they're dirty I see it so I'm gonna do that for the rest here too so let's get physical physical so our comedor is done as you guys can see it looks so nice and simple ignore that uh, our kitchen is basically done now. We move on to our living room. So like I said, that's gonna stay there. Let's attack the The stop and go Area, that's what I like to call it. This is Tina for those of you who don't know her, but I feel like the majority of you do She's my little baby girl. Who I love so much. I love you so much my love. I love you so much. She's my baby you guys She's literally my child like I birthed her this couch This is like the area where we like to lay down like Amy likes to lay down here and basically because it's like long But what happens is it always gets scooted down and then we have to like pick this up and like let me show you guys how I do it
this is my everyday Gucci. So this one is gonna stay hanging there. Here is my, I got this at Rosarito. If you've seen the vlog, you know. If you know, you know. So this is Amy's everyday bag. So this is gonna stay here. Let me turn yours around. So Amy likes to leave her sweaters here when she gets home from work. And she takes sweaters because she goes to work super early. So we're gonna put that for her there. This is my New York Gucci bag that is obviously not every day. And you would think I would take better care of it because it's so expensive. So this one's going in my room. This is my room, my pile. Um, this is my cover up, so it's mine. It goes on my pile. These are my pants that I took to Rosarito, so it's gonna go in the Rosarito bag. So this is also going in my room. This is Danny, so I'm gonna leave this for him. Well, no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it in his, in his box. And then this is like my everyday gym bag, so I'm actually gonna leave it here because I will basically change from this purse. Like, I'll change whatever I have from this purse to this one. Depending if I'm going to the gym or not, so. I'll just take like phone keys, wallet, put it in here, and it just depends. Like this is more like every day, this is more like gym. So I'm gonna put Amy's bag, oops, that's not Amy's bag, this is her bag, right here as well. And see, like it just looks so much different than how it looked before. Like that looks nice, it looks like, okay, it's what we need, you know? So this is Amy's, and these are her shoes. But she's sleeping right now, so I'm gonna put her stuff right here. For her to pick up whenever she's ready. Ay, que bonita bebé le está llorando su mamá limpiar. That fan is a sore eye, but trust me, we need it. And then that's where our coat hanger looks like at the entrance. So much better than before. I feel like minimalistic. We just have our everyday bags here, ready to go. We have our comedor over here, which it's simple, sunflowers are me, Amy, and my mom's favorite flower. We have our cuadro, it smells so good in here. We like to keep our glasses here, like especially me because I drive and I need these to drive, so like I always know they're here. The stove that's clean and the countertops. And I know that kind of looks weird, but my mom's coming for that. And we don't have a boss by space for it, so Amy put it in the cazuela. And then, yeah, that's basically what our kitchen looks like.